set and you basically bring that set to the computer or rack and get Joe. It's all based on the leverage of the corner. So the tricky ones we get are the corners that'll be playing, you know, off inside leverage and at the snap of the ball they'll square up. So we rep that a ton in our individual drills where they square up to play cover two. Well, our receiver, as he's coming off the ball, ready to run that five yard square in, sees you know, the DB hinge in, then he just converts and runs a fade. So how do you teach that to the QB then? QB's gotta see the leverage. Pre-snap, right, if they're gonna play cover two, that single side safety's gotta be off the hash, right? If, if he's good and he can play on the hash and still get over and cover a vertical route by a single receiver, He's pretty damn good. We see some of those, uh, but a lot of it's pre-snap look, right? Linebackers tucked in the box, corners, you know, looking inside, and he's going to hinge in. Safety's off the hash. Anytime the safety's off the hash and the corner has a possibility of pressing, we're usually off that triple combo. And let's just throw Dino, right? Either they're going to cloud and play uh, cover three cloud to the boundary, okay, which easily opens up our field Dino route, okay, or if they're playing straight cover two we can still throw a five yard square into cover two, okay? Guys, that's our best play, right? We ran that more than any other play in our entire offense. I called it on fourth and eight, we converted. I called it on first down a ton because all of a sudden you complete a five yard square and get tackled right there, you're at second and five. You're ahead of chains, we're, we're good there. I call it in the red zone, I call it backed up. That's one of our, if we ever, are ever on the one inch line, we'll go hard count, we'll throw that route. Okay, I love it. It's our guys buy into it, and we average 10.3 yards a catch on that. Now, granted, those two triple combos for 40 and 60 yards uh, helped that, that stat a little bit, uh, but it's pretty good. So we had to find a way this spring, hey, how can we protect our best play? So we got into a bunch more three-step combinations, and I'm going to show you guys three-by-one pass combinations that allow us to protect that in-breaking route. So everyone run this, right? Some sort of stick concept. Number three runs a stick, whether it's a tight end or a receiver, you run a stick, you run a speed out, you run a vertical. We always keep our backside triple combo, all right? So we, we have this in almost every one of our concepts is that ability to take that if they give it to us, okay? Then it's a very easy read. All our quarterback looks at is this Sam Backer. He expands with number two, hit the stick before the mic can get there. He sits, throw your speed out. He sits, corner squats, well, you better have, have your pair hanging down. You've got to throw a whole ball to the field, okay? Don't love that. Don't see it a ton. But if we do, tuck and run the damn ball, okay? No one wants a whole ball to the field. So we call this stagger. Pretty easy concept. Again, it's our, our, our set attack pro up front, or we can make a bitch call up front and, and miss five different cuts, which is fantastic, okay? Yeah, it happens to everybody, right? Okay, so in this scenario, right, I'm telling my quarterbacks, guys, why don't you take your, your five-yard speed out? He's off inside leverage, tilted in. Throw a five-yard speed out. He's giving it to you. It's free, right? This safety's tucked in. They're not going to play cover two, whatever. Take it. But very easy read. Outside backer expands. Whoop. Outside backer expands. Hit your stick route from a tight end before the mic can get there. Okay. One thing we weren't very good at last year during the fall is understanding that this guy's open, even if there's a backer on him. Okay, we got two tight ends that are, are really good football players for us. We got some more coming in. I'm trying to, trying to get to where we can have multiple tight ends on the field. You know, maybe we'll switch our colors to, to purple. You know, that'd be great. Trying to get as many tight ends as we can on the field, but that's open. We got to be able to throw that. Okay, so that's a really easy pick plant throw for our quarterbacks, get the ball out quick, uh, and then go from there. Even if the linebacker's on his hip, our quarterback, it's a five-yard throw. Our quarterback's got to be able to put it on the outside shoulder. Our tight ends have to be able to box out like they're playing basketball. What if your quarterback yeah, it's still a five-yard throw. If your quarterback can't throw it to somebody's chest, standing five yards from him, uh, you know, find a different quarterback, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's tough, right? You guys, you guys can't recruit. You know, we've got guys that, uh, you know, it turns out, you know, this guy's been pretty good for us. Um, you know, that's, a, that's about as easy of a throw as it gets. The nice thing is, is that, you know, we're playing against backers in seven on seven, right? Backers in seven on seven don't have anything to do but drop to wherever they need to drop to. In a game scenario, those guys still have to check run. 
It's 11 personnel. If this guy's not worried about the run game in 11 personnel with back away, inside zone, possibly coming to him, well, okay, then they're cheating, right? That's a constant communication I have with my defense coordinator. I feel that anytime we script, he cheats, okay? And, uh, you know, these guys are notorious for, for doing that in seven on seven. However, you know, you're not allowed to, uh, to run full team periods in, in, uh, in spring ball. But again, so Mike Becker is still expanding. I can be able to get the ball to him real quick. And it's almost a catch and throw type scenario uh, for our, our quarterbacks. Okay, so here it is in the game. Uh, again, I've run this play a lot. You don't typically see this guy squatting on number three. Uh, but again, North Central, very well coached, great athletes. Okay, he actually squatted, kind of gave us that speed out to the field. Our quarterback almost back shouldered him right here. We catch it, get a 13 yard gain. Okay, so this is again ways for us to protect our best play. Thank God we didn't try to cut everybody again. It's awesome. Okay. So that's our first three by one step. So we put in Dino and then we put in Stagger, same day. Okay, we got an in-breaking route, we got an out-breaking route. Now we're gonna get onto some variations of our three-step stick concept. Snap. Okay, backside number one, instead of running his triple combo now, is gonna run to the middle of the alley, snap it off four to five yards. Okay, would love it if there's a, a backer right here, he runs right at his upfield shoulder. Okay, we do not teach pick routes. Picks are illegal. We can teach rub concepts, big difference. Tailback, he's replacing the outside foot of our outside receiver. If he doesn't get the ball by the line of scrimmage, he turns it up to a wheel. Okay, very easy. That corner is in man, presses inside, throw your tailback now because whoever's playing the alley has got to either go over the top or underneath. We're going to have some leverage there. If the mic's tucked in the box and there's a single backer out here, throw your sticker out. Very simple concept. Love this one in the red zone. Okay, especially when you get guys that want to bring some pressure in, put it into 11 personnel, and now they're worried about run game. You might get a, a run pressure or anything like that. Now you've got a backer trying to run with a tailback that's free release out of the backfield. Okay, so this is a, a strict five-man pass pro. Our quarterbacks know they've got to get the ball out. Get it out quick. Pre-snap pre -snap picture allows us to, hey, I've got leverage because this mic is in an A-gap and there's only one second level defender out there, I'm gonna re read my stick side, or there's nobody in the alley, I got a really easy read on the corner. Okay, so if there's no alley defender, you got corner safety are the only people outside of this area, well that guy's in a man in conflict. Okay, if he squats, throw your snapper out before any type of interior backer or safety can spin down. He drives down on the snap route, now you got your tail back. Yep. No, I want him bottom the numbers. Okay, I want, I want him as far away from any type of interior backer that we can. We just teach our tailbacks, hey, look at the receiver's outside foot. You are running to it right now, expecting the football. If you don't get the football by the time you cross line of scrimmage, just go straight upfield. That's really awesome. This second level throw doesn't happen very often, but when you get a hard cover two corner and a Mike backer or, or Will backer that expands and he runs right by the corner, it's actually pretty cool. I've thrown a couple touchdowns on that before. Okay, so here's an example of snap, okay? Now they've got this backers out of the box, press corner and a safety. They got three defenders for two, but what they have is head up over number two and nobody head up over number three, he's inside leverage. I'm gonna throw this stick route. Pre-snap, my quarterback knows I'm going to the left here, okay? They get depth, throw a five yard stick route in the red zone, go to the next play. Very simple pre-snap determination that I'm going that way. Okay, in this scenario, the film's kind of a little tough to see. Okay, but they, they would, uh, North Park would stem into a bear front a bunch. Even though he's a walk up, they always brought this guy. Safety's back almost in the box. This guy's tucked in the B gap. That's a very easy read for me to read that corner. We did a lot of check with me stuff, but Corner squeezes. Box backer in the A gap's got to run with our tailback. He runs through a guy. Cool, we'll catch it and go. It's a pretty nice little view from the, from the tight here. Very easy for our quarterbacks. That guy's got a long way to go. He tries to undercut it. Okay, I, I yelled at the ref. The ref called him out of bounds right there. I said, He's wearing white shoes. You can't tell the difference. <laughs> ref didn't find that too funny. 
Okay? So, in this scenario here, I told my quarterbacks, dude, that's a pretty easy read on this guy, right? He expands with two, hit your five yard stick route. Okay, but what we saw is that same look we saw before with the corner pressed up, this safety might come in the box. There's only gonna be one second level defender outside here, and that's gonna be the corner. So he decided to go to the boundary here. Okay, we just outrace this cat. You get a box backer trying to run with a tailback that's already got him out leveraged. Catch the ball. Now that, I give, uh, was it 50, 57? I give this guy credit. Uh, he was actually a lot faster than I thought he was. Okay, oh, here's this, our, our bitch call again. We actually, you know, a little bit better, maybe. Um, you know, they had a pretty decent D-line. I don't think it was comparable to Wheaton's, but still pretty good. But again, pretty easy four-yard gain on first and 10. Yep. Okay. We got man-to-man. -man. Fourth, fourth down, they bring a blitz. Square it off, it's pretty easy. Okay. Next play we have, it's called Vegas. Okay, same stick concept. Triple combo backside. Now instead of running a speed out, he's going to wrap behind number three about two yards. Okay, now we're, instead of reading the Sam backer, we're going to beat the Sam with speed. That Mike backer comes flat to attach the, the, uh, the stick route, throw it behind him. It's a pretty cool concept. Okay, and I, I can send this to you guys. You guys need to take a picture of it, whatever. It, it's not a slant. It's a wrap route. Okay, so he attaches to the stick route, run right off of his, we, we do call it a, a, a win route. Okay, all you gotta do is just win over the top of that guy. Very easy read for our quarterback. Mike drives down on the stick route, right behind him. Pretty easy concept. So again, ways to protect our three by one, three step combos. Okay, this is a, a game, again, Wheaton, Kind of screwing with this guy out here. They got two over two, throw a stick route, get a big gain. Okay, so it's how many ways can we get the ball out quicker because we couldn't pass protect versus, you know, senior, 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 super senior. I think this guy was 30. Um, you know, we, we, we gave up a bunch of sacks on five-step pass pro, so now we got to figure out how can we get the ball out quick and make it difficult for the Mike backers and alley defenders. This kid had never played a snap. Guy broke his shoelace, so he had to come in. He didn't stick out. He actually ran like a square in, almost screwed it up, but we hit the wrap route uh, right behind it. So pretty nice, uh, pretty nice little concept here. Again, it's just a, a variation off that stick concept. We were able to get, I think it was third and 10 or so, third and six or something like that. We were able to pick it up. Last one, love it in the red zone. We call it nod. Okay, again, you stick, two steps into the stick, turn it up. We run a speed out, whip underneath. Mike wants to run with number three and man, should open up that underneath area. He wants to come flat, we got the nod. Always able to take our triple combo, mandatory outside release as a placeholder. Pretty cool concept. We're, we ran this a bunch this spring. Uh, here's, we actually ran it last year versus North Central because we liked him, he liked to get froggy and jump everything. Slip run underneath, of course, you know, we bobble, drop the ball. Third and 10, should have been a, a big time first down. Um, pretty good concept, we can max pass pro. We gotta catch the ball, I guess. Luckily that guy was the number eight kick returner in the country. I would have been upset with him. So here is out of, uh, in the red zone. Okay, so Mike Backer wants to run deep with the tight end, replace right underneath. Now this tight end has is, is got some, some work to do. He should actually stick it for two steps into his stick and then, and then go. He just tries to turn his body, tries to do it too quickly, but it does open up the underneath uh, replace route. Pretty awesome concept. Here we go, we run it versus uh, Milliken in the game. You know, they didn't get their backside safety over there in time. Uh, pretty, pretty cool concept for us. Um, scored us a couple touchdowns in the past.